Picard and pr offer predictions for WrestleMania 35 Fire and Ice. Happy WrestleMania a day, everyone, around the world. As we're going to take a look at this gigantinormous card, it is stacked from top to tower. Her mixed with various matches. It, first of all, it's the Calm Before the Megastorm 3. It is the Women's Battle Royal. Oh, tonight. And in there, Dana Brooke, Mickey James, Ruby Ryan, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan representing Monday Night Raw, Otsuka, Carmella, Naomi, Lana, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Zelina Vega representing SmackDown, and Nikki Cross, a free agent. Who do you guys pick? Oh, it's got to be Otsuka. My pick will be Otsuka. And in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, who do you guys pick? So many women's battle royal. Okay, who do you got? Who do you? Ah, Jesse Flock. And welcome to my live show. And I hope Jessica Jackson. And this is you, her vanilla viper, her brother, brother, Nathan Wallace, baby, in the house. That's hurrah. And then I'm going with Braun Strowman in this battle royal. Easy. Easy, even. And the third calm before the Mega Storm 3 match will be for the WWE World Cruiserweight Championship. And Buddy Murphy defending the World Cruiserweight title against the number one contender, the winner of the Cruiserweight Tournament, Tony Nese. Who do you guys pick? Ah, hi, hiya, Jess. Oh, yes. And one thing, I'm going with Tony Nese for the world to be the new World Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, yes. And we go to the Nathan's World Wikia portion of the Calm Before the Megastorm 3. As we move to the lower section quadrant of the Calm Before the Megastorm 3. It is the 7 versus 7 Keys to Glory Tag Team Final. Tony Cole, Mike Perillo, Zach Cobalt, Dustin Reagan, Dirty to Chico, Big Jaw, Comet and Comatose versus from Pro Wrestling Noah, Katsuhiko Nakajima, Mazaki Ohada from Pro Wrestling Wave. Mad, Day, Mad Dog Miyazaki from World Idol Pro, from Kaintai Dojo, Ayato Yoshida, Shota Yamino, Rin Narita, and Toa Hinare from New Japan Pro Wrestling. I gotta pick Team Japan. They got the strong style, they got uh, flexibility that no one knows, and I 
And I don't think those backyard boys will be able to withstand the strong style. Oh, yes. In another match, the 17-person gauntlet match, Zach Daniels will be defending the GFW Next Gen Championship in a 17-person gauntlet match versus 16 other persons. Alex Ryder, Booker T's reality of wrestling, the Diamonds Division Champion, the Renaissance Woman High On, Joe Razor from JRW, Chris Ridgway, IPW UK, Solo Darling of Chikara, Thomas Billington from Defiant Wrestling, Jolene the Valkyrie Hex, LFC Women's Champion, Kelly Cat, Serena Honey Punch and Kyle, Holly the Lotus Mai, Bella Inc., Mona Jones, Shelly Upperdine De Silva from LFC, James Fury and Tommy Gunn representing MEBW, and then from Impact Wrestling, Progress Wrestling Women's Champion, and the first ever World Series Wrestling Australia Women's Champion, Thick Mama Pump, Jordan Grace. Nathan, I gotta pick Jordan Grace in this one to be the new next gen champ. Because however you may cut it, I don't think the 16 other individuals stand a chance against Jordan Grace. Oh, yes. And then the 11 team gauntlet match. Insane Championship Wrestling from Scotland. Hiya, Casey. Hiya, Adam. Nathan Wallace, baby, at your service. And then the 11 team gauntlet match, as I mentioned, ICW in Glasgow, Scotland, King Lou Sharp, Sean Krieger, and Little Miss Roxy facing versus Team Smash Wrestling. It's World Tag Team Champions, Halal Beefcake, and the Vegan Destroyer, Kevin Blackwood. Booker T's Reality of Wrestling will be represented by Jenna Lynn, Lainey Luck, and Alex Gracia. Divine Wrestling will be represented by the Magnificent Seven Free Case Holder, Benji, Laura DiMatteo, the Italian Jive, and the Defiant Wrestling Women's Champion, their captain, Kanji. Impact Wrestling will be represented by Alicia Edwards and the Desi Hit Squad. Border City Wrestling will be represented by the newly newly anointed superstar of the main of the Impact Wrestling roster newly crowned superstar of the Impact Wrestling roster Cody Deaner Kong, Congo Kong A1 and Casey Spinelli International Pro Wrestling United Kingdom will be represented by its women's champion its captain Sierra Loxton junior heavyweight James Castle Jade and Danny Luna. Championship Wrestling from Arizona will be represented by the King of the Midway, Oliver Grimsley, the current King of the Midway champion, Watson, and former Arizona State Heavyweight champ, Gino Rivera. Championship Wrestling from Hollywood will be represented by the PP3 Cup Bearer, Tyler Bateman, the, the Young Fuego, Adrian Quest from the Quest Coast, and the Hollywood Heritage Champion, Andy Brown. Representing Ring of Honor, Roosh, who had that awesome quick win against Dalton Castle, which put him through. Second team member, Jeff Cobb, who is still the ROH World Television Champion, but the newly minted Never World Openweight Champion. And the final entrant, the villain, Marty Skrull, leader of Villain Enterprises, who came this close and came up short in his quest to become the ROH World Champ.
Huh, where was I? Oh, yes. Yeah, Marty Skrull, the third and final member of Team Ring of Honor. And the final team in this match will be CFW Mid-Atlantic Worldwide Wrestling, Ethan Alexander Sharp, White Mike Jordan, and Donnie Ebitcoin Dollars. And then... I gotta say, hey, I'm pulling for Defined Wrestling. And I'm pulling for either IPW UK or Defined Wrestling in this one. Hmm. Yeah, Nikki Bella is retired, so um, she's facing nobody else. The hmm. And the women, the first ever women's main event. And once I get through running down the whole card of Okay. All right. All right. At, at the end of Calm Before the Mega Storm 3, it is the main show at 7 p.m. on the WWE Network. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's the main show. And this Gigantanor, this mega card begins with the Raw Tag Team title match. The Revival, the Champions. And we'll face the challengers, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Who do you guys pick? I'm picking Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder to be the new champ. To be the new champs. Oh, hi, Casey. Long time no see. And then we move on to the four four way tag team match for the SmackDown tag team titles. Boy, boy. And now, as I was saying, for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, a four-way match, the Usos will defend their championships against Ricochet and Aleister Black, The Bar, Cesaro and Sheamus, and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev. Who do you guys pick in this four-way match for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles? Now, who do you guys pick in the four-way match for the SmackDown Tag Titles? Is it the Usos? Is it the Bar, Cesaro and Sheamus? Is it the rookie tag team of Aleister Black and Ricochet? Or is it Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev? Rusev Day in Nock America. That's what I call them. And then we go from there. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Superman Punch in the Spear versus the Claymore. Which finishing move will prove to be the difference? And I want your guys saying this. I want your predictions. Hmm. 
Titans. Is it Roman Reigns, Superman punching the spear, or is it the dreaded Claymore of Drew McIntyre? And then, as you've heard it, on Monday, the demon is about to come out of hibernation as the demon, Finn Balor, faces Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. The demon is about to be unleashed on Lashley. I predict Finn Balor will once again be the Intercontinental Champion with this demon persona. And I want your guy saying this is... Let me know your prediction for this match. Finn Balor or Bobby Lashley? And then we go from there to the WWE United States Heavyweight Championship. Samoa Joe will be face, will defend his title against Rey Mysterio. There has been some question about Rey Mysterio's injury as according to Pro Wrestling Insider as a result of that, that bad landing that he took uh, during his match with Baron Corbin. So, is Rey Mysterio completely healed from that injury completely? Is he ready to take the United States Heavyweight title away from Samoa Joe? Only time will tell. I want to know your thoughts on this and your predictions on this match. Is it Samoa Joe retaining, or is it Rey Mysterio winning the United States Heavyweight title with the giant Fuego, Dominic, in his corner? And then, the dream match, the special challenge match, AJ Styles versus Randy Orton, the phenomenal forearm and the Styles Clash versus the dreaded RKO. Which one will prove to be the difference? It's, let me know your predictions on this match. Is it AJ Styles or is it Randy Orton? Oh, long time. Yes, long time no see. Let me give you a big thumbs up for that. While that's doing that. Huh? And find a big thumbs up. Oh well. I better get going with the card. Wasted. It is a Falls Count Anywhere match for the world, the current best in the world, Shane McMahon versus The Miz. And as a result of what Shane McMahon did to Miz's father in Cleveland, some retribution is bound to come. And let me know your predictions. Will Shane McMahon be, still be the best in the world, or will The Miz be the best in the world? I want to know your comments and your predictions. Hmm. 
And then, and then in the fair, it was proven what is going to prove to be Kurt Angle's retirement match, the farewell match, if you will. Kurt Angle, in his final match, will take on Baron Corbin, the former general manager of Raw. Um, will Baron Corbin be able to shut down Kurt Angle? Or will Kurt Angle shut him up once and for all? I want to know your predictions, guys. Who will come out in this match victorious? Is it, is it Kurt Angle getting a win in this final match? Or will it be Baron Corbin shutting him up once and for all? Let me know your predictions. And then, a WrestleMania 21 rematch. This time, it's personal. This time, it's no disqualifications. This time, it's no count out. This time, it's no restrictions. This time, it's no holds barred. And it's a main event of all peoples. As Batista will take on Triple H in what is sure to be Batista's final professional wrestling match. Now, there's an extra added incentive into all of this. If Triple H is defeated, he must retire from in-ring competition. This could potentially be the last match of Triple H as well if he loses. And then... For the WWE Heavyweight Championship of the World... Let me know your predictions on this match. Is it Triple H coming out victorious for the first time over Batista? Or will Batista triumph over Triple H one more time? Let me know your predictions, guys. I want to see your predictions on the comment section. Hi, Ron. Welcome to the party. Uh, no, cancel, 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 cancel. I don't want to end the live video like that. Not by a long shot. Yeah, don't end it. Yeah. We're not through the card yet. We still have the Nathan's World Wiki of Version. It is OVE. It is the 10-pack challenge tag team match for the CSHWA World Tag Team Championship. It is Wolfmen United from GEO Championships against OVE from Impact Wrestling, the Lucha Brothers from AEW, the Impact World Tag Team Champions, Pentagon Jr., and the AAA Mega Campion, Ray Phoenix. Other teams in there, the Classic Connection from Championship Wrestling from Arizona, Ozzy Open from Defiant Wrestling, Anti-Fun Police from IPW UK, ICW Scotland, and Defiant Wrestling, the Gorillas of Destiny, now the Unified World Tag Team Champions, not only still the IWGP World Tag Team Champions, but the new ROH World Tag Team Champions. So they're looking for some C... They're looking for some... They're looking to add the CSHWH World Tag Titles to their resume, but not... If the other three teams have anything to say about it, it is the Tribe from Championship Wrestling from Arizona, the Agents from the Agents of Chaos from Championship Wrestling from Arizona, and Chris Bay and Sway Thompson from Jamie Iovine's group representing Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And well, if I were a betting man, I would say the Gorillas of Destiny will be the new CSHWA World Tag Team Champions. Ha ha! That's your prediction? Yeah, they'll be carrying three belts. The IWGP World Tag Team Championships, the ROH World Tag Team Championships, and the CSHWA World Tag Team Championships. So, let me know your thoughts and predictions on this match. And then... We go from there to the Hardcore match for the GFW Hardcore Championship. Martin Kirby from Defiant Wrestling, the Defiant Wrestling Internet Champion, will defend against the girl on fire from Impact Wrestling, Kiara Hogan, still reeling from the, the sudden departure of Allie from Impact Wrestling. 
And Kiara Hogan not only looks to win the GFW Hardcore title, but dedicate her win to Allie, the bunny. Let me know your predictions down on the comment section below, guys. It is very important that you list your comments. Hence, it'll be very helpful for me. Yeah, hi, it's hi, Ryan. And well party. Hey, welcome to this live stream event. And as we go from there to high stakes, high risk number two. The nine pack challenge tag team double jeopardy ladder match to determine the number one contenders for the GFW Tag Team Championships and for the VTW World Tag Team Championships. It is the Heretics representing NUW, Casey James and Sam Ayal. Rapungi 3K from New Japan Pro Wrestling, Sho and Yo with Rocky Romero, The Bad Sons from VTW, LAX, Ortiz and Santana from Impact Wrestling with Conan in their corner, from Switchblades Bullet Club, Rory Coyle and Gabriel Kidd from Defiant Wrestling, The Los Ice Creams from Chikara, The Ugly Ducklings from Omega Wrestling, Team Espania, the former WrestlePro World Tag Team Champions, and the current Defiant Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, the South Coast Connection. Well, I'm going with LAX. I'm going with LAX to win the Double Jeopardy match. Because they are one of the best tag teams of all time. First proven it in Slammiversary 15 in 2017. When they defeat three other teams. So... It'll be impossible for the other eight teams to get a victory over LAX. And with Conan in the corner, Conan in their corner, I don't think these eight teams can stand a chance. So I'm going with LAX. And let me know your comments and predictions on this match. The high stakes, high risk, number two. Ooh. Ooh. It is to determine the number one contenders for the GFW World Tag Team title. And also... It is for the VTW World Tag Team titles. Drop some comments below. I want your predictions, guys, for tonight. It is very important. We proceed from there to the Fatal 5-Way Tag Team Match for the CSHWF World Tag Team Championship. The newly crowned WrestlePro World Tag Team Champions, KM and Fulaba. Masahiro Chono and Keiji Muto from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Reno Scum of GFW. Rock Nest Monsters from Championship Wrestling from Hollywood will face the champions, the Pete Battleites. Nathan the 23rd and Nathan the 24th. Well... My honest-to-God opinion, I believe it's Chono and Muto getting the victory. Oh, yes. No, no. I believe KM and Falaba will get the victory. They can become dual champions at the end of this if they defeat four other teams. Oh, yes. Let me know your comments below. Let me know your predictions, guys, on this match. Five tag teams, but only one will come out. Victorious. Who will it be? He. Drop some comments and leave some predictions. It's highly important. Hi, and hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Welcome to the party. And we proceed from there for the vacant AWA ESPN World Television Heavyweight Title. Mark Hunt, Heath Herring, one representing K1, one representing Pride Fighting Championships, will vie for the title. I got to pick Mark Hunt. Hunt, man. He's representing K1. Hunt. And I don't know whether he could be stopped. Oh, yes. You're picking Mark Hunt. I'm picking Mark Hunt, too. And let me know your predictions on this match. Mark Hunt or Heath Herring? Let me know in your comments below. Let me know your predictions, guys. It is very important. And then we go from there. For the first time ever, the nine recent ages of Nathan Wallace are going to clash as all no as the factions 
a GFW will clash in a Lucha de Tercias match. Team Rise, the resurgence of international super elitists, Nathan the 19th, Nathan the 20th, Nathan the 17th, Nathan the 18th will battle Crazy Bash Shield, Nathan the 6th, Nathan the 7th, and Nathan the 10th versus Bazooki Gun, Nathan the 13th, Nathan the 12th, and Nathan the 15th. Oh, yes, I gotta go with Team Rise. They aren't without it out. The resurgent international super elitists led by Nathan the 14th. And with his blessing and with the speed and quickness of Nathan the 17th, they can't be stopped. Team Rise, I'm picking Team Rise too. Oh, yes, Team Rise. They're gonna rise up to the occasion and win the Terceris match. Let me know your comments below. Let me know your predictions on the Lucha to Terceris match. And then the match to determine not only the Queen of Seattle, but this match will also decide the GFW Women's Championship. As the challenger from 50 Shades, from the 50 Shades trilogy, Anastasia on a Steel will challenge Amanda Knox for the GFW Women's title. And for me, Personally, I'm going with Anastasia on a steel. I'm going with Anastasia too. I better make it three. I'm going with Anastasia. Anastasia. Anas and the unanimous decision that Anastasia on a steel is going to become the new GFW Women's Champion. And guys, drop a comment below. Leave your predictions for this GFW Women's title match. And who will be the Queen of Seattle in the end? Is it Amanda Knox or is it Anastasia on a steel for 50 grays? You decide on the common. You you make your decision, drop your comments, and leave your predictions. And then the six-man tag team lumberjack match. It is Bullet Club 444. For, for life, represented by Team Captain Steve Kennedy, Zach, Too Hot Zach Owen, and Super Kid Phillips versus the Stark Supremacy, Everett Creed, Insanity, and Angelique Stark. Uh, for me, I'm going with the Bullet Club. They are four, 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 four life. Oh, yes. yes I'm going with Bullet Club too, man. Oh, yes, Bullet Club will surely be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, haven't I forgotten the Women's World Tag Team title? Oh, Matt. And, and hey, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think of the six man trios lumberjack match. Match. Leave your comments and predictions below on the comments section. It's all important, guys. And then, then, the Boston Hug Connection, Bailey and Sasha Banks. Banks, they will defend the Women's World Tag Team Championship against two legends, Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Not only those, but two other teams, the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, and Nia Jackson Tamina. I got two favorite picks in this one. Either the Boston Hug Connection retain or Beth Phoenix and Natalia will be the new champs. So I'm going with the Boston Hug Connection. I'm going for Beth and Natalia in this one. Oh yes. And all you guys drop your comments below. Leave your comments on the leave your comment. Leave your predictions on the comments section. I want to know your predictions guys. Thanks. For tonight. Tonight is WrestleMania. Be sure to leave your predictions down below in the comments section. And then we go from there. The Triple Threat Tag Team Match for the GFW World Tag Team Championships. Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson will defend their championships against hence, the Bullet Club, Ufo de Tonga and Uso de Tonga 
and the balance of chaos, Jason Atlas and his low. Jason at Melissa's well, very good. Best pro, best backyard wrestler that I've seen in years. There's and the Bullet Club and the Young Bucks. They're the electrifying tag team that I've seen in bunches of years time. But I gotta go with the Bullet Club. Four, 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 life. Yeah, Bullet Club is everywhere. You believe that the Bullet Club are going to win the GFW World Tag Team titles? Bullet Club. Bullet Club. Bullet Club for life. Yeah, Bullet Club for life. And then, and we go from there, from the first of two changed Impact Wrestling versus New Japan matches. Now, now, in case you're aware of this, Kazuchika Okada is the new IWGP Heavyweight Champion of the World. As of last night's G1 Supercard. SG. Hmm. Hmm. Just warned you guys that Kazuchika Okada is the new IWGP World Heavyweight Champion as of last night's G1 Supercard at MSG. So therefore, one of, there are two changes in two matches. First will be the six-man trios tag team, tree, tag team street fight. Which will feature in Switchblade Jay White, along with Ghetto and from FMW Mr. Ganaske versus the Impact World Champion Johnny Impact, Killer Cross, and the Impact Knockouts Champion Taya Valkyrie, La Vera Loca. I believe, I predict that Impact will breathe with the Switchblade. The Switchblade, yes, sir. I can't wait. Switchblade is going to come out hot. He's going to come out mad. Switchblade is going to come out mad. He's going to come out strong. He's going to come out smoking. He's going to come out furious. And he's looking to deliver that Blade Runner on anybody he sees. He's especially Johnny Impact. Taya Valkyrie and Killer Cross. And Killer Chrome and Killer Cross, once Switchblade gets that Blade Runner on you, you're gonna think twice about punching somebody in the punching a center block in somebody's head. Oh, I wouldn't say then. 
And so I'm predicting Team Team Switchblade will win. And let me know your comments below, guys. Let me know your predictions below on the comment section. It is very, very, very important because tonight is WrestleMania. And then Seema from Oriental Wrestling Entertainment will defend two championships versus Nathan the 26th. I believe the Woken Warrior has been unleashed. He's because Nathan the 26th will delete the Oriental Wrestling representative into oblivion. Delete! 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 Yes! The Woken and Broken Warrior will be unleashed as he will attempt to win two championships. Is it Nathan the 26th, or is it Oriental Wrestling Entertainment SEMA? I want to know your predictions on this match, guys. It is very important. It is Amanda Cerny versus The Smoke Show, Scarlet Bordeaux, in a Lucha de Apuestas match. Now, I'm picking Scarlet Bordeaux will get the win. Really? I'm picking Scarlet Bordeaux, too. Me, three. All in unanimous agreement. The Smoke Show, Scarlet Bordeaux, from Impact Wrestling, will get the victory. Drop a comment below and leave your predictions, guys, on this match, the Lucha de Apuestas match. And then we go from there, from the 8-pack elimination challenge match, to determine the number one contender for the GFW Global Championship, at AEW's first event, Double or Nothing. It is Christian Gray versus Nathan the 14th versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera versus Kodo Fuyuki versus Ludwig Borga versus Hayabusa versus JJ Blake versus EJ Sparks. What do you think? I gotta say Nathan the 14th, the perfect one. If I, When I say perfect, I meant Nathan the 14th because... In 14, you were at the first of the perfect age. So, therefore, I'm picking the perfect one, Nathan the 14th from Team Rice. Yeah. And I'm picking Nathan the 14th, too. Uh, because he is a dark horse. Or an underdog in every match he sees. Oh, yes. Nathan the 14th will sure to be a number one contender and go on to double or nothing to challenge for the GFW Global title. Let me know your predictions and comments, guys. He's on this match, the 8-pack challenge elimination match. Hiya, Bonnie. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the prediction show. Hi, I'm Bonnie. Welcome. Okay. We're getting ready to proceed from there to... Now, Kota Ibushi, he has won the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. So he's getting ready to defend... Not only the IWGP Intercontinental title, but the GFW X Division Champion All Night Revan. Oh yes, definitely. I can't wait. I predict that Kota Ibushi with the IWGP Intercontinental Championship, he can't be stopped. He can't lose both titles now. I agree with him. Kota Ibushi should get the win. And let me know your comments, guys, on this double title match. Is it Kota Ibushi or is it the Vertical Knight Revan? You decide on the comments section on your predictions. And then we go from the Poker of Aces, Lucha de Apuestas Playboy's Cage Match. Candice Michelle, 
Ashley Massaro, Tori Wilson, and Kelly Kelly. Oh, yes. It is even Steven on the leaning for this one. It is close. I got to go with the Hall of Famer, Tori Wilson. Yeah, I'm going with Kelly Kelly. And I'm going with Candace. It is a split decision. And either one of these will win three championships at the end. So, therefore, it is not a split decision. And let me know your comments on this match. The Poker of Aces Playboy's Cage match. Match. Is it Candace Michelle? Is it Ashley Massaro? Is it Ellie Kelly? Or is it the recently inducted Hall of Famer Tori Wilson? You decide. And it is the I Quit match between Scary Devin Anderson versus Jane Jones of Mr. and Mrs. Jones. I say Jane Jones got this one hands down. Jane Jones for me too. Me three. Hey, and do you guys think Jane Jones should make Devin say those two little words, I quit? You decide on the comments section. And then the secondly recently changed match. And as a result of him winning the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship for the fifth time, his first title defense will be his gravest challenge as he takes on the bloody undead bride and the one and the knock and the scariest knockout who who stabbed Allie out of Impact Wrestling and sent her on to AEW. It's the bloody undead bride Sue Young. Well, Sue Young will indeed be paying for her sins nine days ago. For what she did nine days ago against Allie. Kazuchika Okada will get Sue Young for what she did to Allie. Hey, this is definitely revenge. I gotta say, the Rainmaker will make it rain at MetLife Stadium. Yes, I'm going with the Rainmaker, too. He can't be stopped, and he can't be beat. And the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada for me. Let me know your comments, guys. Is it the bloody undead bride, Sue Young? Or is it the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, retaining the title? You decide. And then we proceed from there. Nathan the 11th will challenge Connor DeZang in a no disqualifications match for the DBW and EWE Anarchy Championships. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. I got to say, Nathan the 11th from Los Nachismos. That's because you don't mess with the bad guys, Chico. And that's all it counts. Nathan the 11th is the ultimate bad guy, Chico. Uh, Los Nachismos are the real, are oozing machismo all around. And they're going to be dripping with gold with Nathan the Eleven carrying two titles. And Connor DeZang of the Peep Battleites will be paying for his sins. Let me know your comments on the predictions in this no disqualifications match for the DBW and EWE Anarchy Championships. Is it Connor DeZang or is it Nathan the Eleventh coming out with two titles? And then Mark Coleman of Pride Fighting Championships will face James Miser for the CSHWA World Heavyweight title. Well, I'm picking Mark Coleman in his brute strength to win the CSHWA title. Me two, me three. We're only unanimous consensus. Mark Coleman will win the CSHWA World title. And let me know your comments below. Is it the hammer, Mark Coleman, or is it James Miser, the weird one? And then we proceed on to the main events. First, for the heavyweight championship of the world, Kofi Mania is running wild. As Kofi Kingston and the New Day will challenge the champion, the new Daniel Bryan. And and who guys, who do you pick? 
I'm picking Kofi Kingston, baby! And I pick Kofi Kingston, baby! And Kofi Mania is running while I'm picking Kofi Kingston. And in unanimous consensus, survey says that Kofi Kingston will become the new heavyweight champion of the world. Let me know your comments below on who do you think will come out as the new heavyweight champion of the world. Is it Kofi Kingston or is it Daniel Bryan still the champion? We go from one heavyweight championship to another. We proceed on to the Universal Heavyweight Championship. As Seth Rollins, the Royal Rumble winner, will challenge the Beast, the Universal Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar. I gotta say, Seth Rollins will win the Universal Heavyweight title. Oh, because he isn't because he's finally worked hard for this. He's won the Royal Rumble. Oh, he is only one curb stump away of finally becoming Universal Champion. And I'm uh, me too, me three. I don't think Royal Rumble winners can be stopped now. This is personal payback for what happened in I'm predicting Seth Rollins will win. Me too, me three. Unanimous consensus survey says that Seth Rollins will finally bring the Universal Heavyweight title back to TV where it will be defended by a fighting champion, something we can be proud of. Um, I predict Daniel Bryan will win. Who do you guys pick? Is it Brock Lesnar, the Universal Heavyweight champ? Or is it the Beast Slayer, Seth Rollins? You guys decide in the comments section, who do you pick in this Universal title match? And we proceed from one main event to another. As you guessed it, a match featuring me, Nathan Wallace, as I will I'll be fighting five individuals, count them five, and I will read the names and thank God Melvin and Bob are not among those. But instead, it'll be Heather Monroe from Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. The King of the Yard 2 tournament winner from NUW. Dark Side, the NUW Continental Champion. And three representations from Impact Wrestling. The Draw, Sammy Callahan. The Evan Machine, Brian Cage. And the Global Champion, the born legend, the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. Oh, yes. Who do you pick? Uh, well, Nathan, I'm going with you, brother. You're going out there and you're teaching Tessa a lesson once and for all. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, Tessa won't outstrike me. He won't because I'm, I will float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Tessa's hands can't hit where her eyes can't see. And... and um, Cage wants to go to heaven, so I'll take him in seven. Uh, Tessa's not great. She will fall in eight. If Sammy Callahan wants to be the crop of the cream, he will fall in three. And yeah, one way or another, all five will... All five will meet their destinies as they will bow in defeat to the Prince of Autism. Tessa Blanchard, Brian Cage, Sammy Callahan, Heather Monroe, and Darkseid, read my lips. The Prince of Autism him, will thrash you, and you five will fall! Yeah. Hiya, Joey. And then we proceed on to the main event, the final match. Where it is triple threat match. It is three women. 
one undisputed women's champion of the world. The Raw recognized champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Down recognized champion, Charlotte Flair, the winner. Becky Lynch, the man. Who will become? I want to know your predictions. Who the last prediction of the show? Who picked to be the undisputed heavy? Who who do you think? will be the un new undisputed women's champion of the world. Is it Ronda Rousey? Becky Lynch, the man? Drop a comment below. I want to know your last prediction on this one. It is the main event. In the past 34 WrestleManias, a man has always main evented a WrestleMania. But for the first time ever, the women is going to close out the show in its main event, in its final match. That's why I need you to drop a comment on who will win this main event. Is it Charlotte? Is it Becky? Or is it Ronda Rousey? Let me know, guys. It's very important. Okay, this this card, all right, the Calm Before the Megastorm 3, the WrestleMania 35 pre-show, will be on USA at 5 p.m., also on the WWE Network on 5 p.m., and then the main show on WWE Network on 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, Alexa Bliss will be hosting this event, and the correspondence for this Shania who are also in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, Michael Shea and Colin Jost. And gospel music star and syndicated radio host Yolanda Adams will perform America the Beautiful. And Nathan, you will perform the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave through, through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Banner your head wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Hi, I'm on. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. And Jessica picks Wanda Rousey all the way. I'm pick. 
the man. Becky Lynch. Lynch. To be the new undisputed women's champion of the world. Women on no more live videos. Okay. Hey, okay. that wraps it up. Okay, this ends this live show. I'm Nathan Wallace. Have a good night. Your room is just.